फेशियल एस्थेटिक्स पार्ट टू पेरी ऑर्बिटल रीजन अराउंड द आई रीजन हाई आई एम डॉक्टर अनमोल चुक आई एम कॉस्मेटिक एंड प्लास्टिक सर्जन बेस्ड इन गुरगांव डेली एन सी आर एंड डायरेक्टर ऑफ इम्पीरियो क्लिनिक्स अलॉन्ग विद दैट आई हेड प्लास्टिक एंड एस्थेटिक सेंटर एफ सी के बिल्ड हॉस्पिटल कॉन्टिन्यूंग सीरीज विद फेशियल एस्थेटिक्स वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिस वीडियो अबाउट पेरी ऑर्बिटल रिजुविनेशन एज वी डिस्कस इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट फॉर हेड यू कैन सी द लिंक विच हैज बिन डिस्क्राइब इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड next will be the nose part so continuing with the f- uh, second part that is the peri orbital region first thing we will like to discuss the under eye region the under eye region is known as the tear trough area also which sees hollowness as we age there are multiple ways to correct it tear trough fillers remain a important thing in which we inject fillers which are hyaluronic acid based and they last for 1 year to 15 months there's another option which can be done that is the fat your own body fat can be used to augment this area and to take away the dark circles now the under eye region has multiple reasons in which it can appear much more darker first of all the skin quality needs to be assessed the, the pigmentation part is there there are some certain creams there is something known as nano fat which is also a fat grafting technique in which we can correct the pigmentation part to an extent also how much fat is there in the tear trough area or the under eye region that needs to be assessed also the next thing that we see is the under eye bags sometimes there are under eye bags which can only be masked with the fillers to a certain extent in those cases we have to understand the fact that surgery might be a better solution the other thing that we see is the crow's feet that is on the sides of the eye now these crow's feet can be easily corrected with botox generally around 12 units are sufficient each side to correct the crow's feet on the sides now the other thing that we see is the eyebrow position eyebrow position is also important to understand that sometimes there is something known as eyebrow ptosis therefore it needs to be correct with the, it can give a very sad look or very tired look now along with that we assess the upper eyelid also now there are certain procedures which is known as blepharoplasty which can take care of the upper eyelid extra skin and along with that sometimes we do brow lift that means to lift the brow area and give you a rejuvenated look now this region is assessed as a whole and it is important to understand that you have to get yourself examined properly with a thorough trained plastic surgeon specializing in facial aesthetics if you have any queries or any doubts you can contact us on this number or write to us on this email id we'll be more than happy to help you stay tuned for our next part part 3 nose where we'll be able to explain you much better about the facial aesthetics thank you so much